Okay, well, my name is Rhonda. Um, I am a Torontonian um, via Manchester, England. I was born in the UK. I've worked here in Canada and also in the UK in museums and libraries and art galleries and archives. And this is my first wiki conference. And it's really interesting. I've met some lovely people and it's nice in that respect. My experience with Wiki is I'm working right now with Victoria Stasiak and an associates. That's her firm. And their big project that they're working on is Wiki Data. And they will, what they're trying to convince people, and it's interesting that they should be more collaborative in terms of their collection, like in terms of sharing and also letting people know who you are and what you have in your collection. And, um, and I think that's important because I always find that, unlike libraries, because libraries can talk to each other because they basically use the same Dewey Decimal System, whether it's in New York or in London or here in Toronto, libraries can talk to each other and say, do you have this book and it's under this number and they can find it. Um, museums don't do that so much and art galleries don't do that so much and saying, do you have this painting by Gauguin or do you have this painting by um, Tom Thompson, you know, who's a Canadian artist, who's one of my favorites, or Emily Carr, who's another famous Canadian artist. You, you just don't know. And then I think it's a great way of broaching and connecting things together because it's information. So the whole glam sector, they should be working together whether it's a gallery, a library, or an art museum, or a, or a butter museum, or a shoe museum. They should all be working together, because all that knowledge is viable. And I guess Wiki could be used to bring that knowledge all together. So it's all in kind of like a giant um, bibliography, or a, or a depository for people to get the stuff. So I, I think that's really kind of neat. Although I'm just this person on the fringes who've used Wiki, <laughs> because like when I want to look up something, like. Oh, did so -and -so, is so-and-so still alive, right? That's I was thinking that the other night. So I entered it into Google, and of course, Wiki comes up first, Wikipedia comes up first. And then you click on it, and then you get the information. And, oh, that's good, now I know. Yes, he, yes, so-and-so is still alive. Um, so I think it's a great resource. And I like the fact that it can be used. Like, but what I was mentioning to Anne, um, how do you make it viable? Because like, or verify it. Because if somebody can go on and change things and, you know, do graffiti or per se, or vandalism or out of spite or just out of a joke or whatever, you can't, and then somebody takes that information that they put on there, like saying, um, Prince Charles's mother liked to play ping pong on Thursdays. So it's like, Somebody could put that in about Queen Elizabeth II. And someone goes, oh, okay, I'm going to put that in my essay. She liked to play ping pong. And that, no, she didn't. But how do you make these things viable and verifiable? So I think that's finding the balance and maintaining the truth. Because so many people like to dissemble, unfortunately, I think. And that's the problem with a lot of it. These things all have good intentions, whether it's Wikipedia, whether it's Facebook. In the beginning, it, it was a way for people to come together in the beginning, but then it became these factions of these little agro city states of people fighting each other and putting out, as they call them, bad actors, people who put out poisonous knowledge. And I think that ruins things, unfortunately. And, I don't, and I, my hope is that these things don't become tainted and that they just, you, you cut out the bad and then you grow the good and foster it so people can gain from it and enjoy it. And then if that's continued and safeguarded, and not safeguarded is to keep it exclusive, but safeguarded to, to keep out the trash or the impurities or the false information, that way um, it can become verified and bona fide and people will use it. And maybe they'll be more positive interaction with people in that way. But like I said, I'm not really, I'm not a professional in that respect. I'm more into um, museums, collections and things. And I would like to know, I like the idea of the wiki data of sharing the knowledge 
and finding out, oh, I didn't know you guys had that painting by so-and-so in your collection, and I'd like to know the provenance of it. And also it gets them more hits because everybody is online. You know, if they look up something and say, oh, it's at, this is located at this museum. They say, oh, well, maybe I'll go to that museum and because I, I would like to see it in person. Or maybe I can broach them about, because I'm doing research on it, and they have information that I can access. So I think these are positive tools, and I'm all for positive tools.